for us to look at our kids and say, sorry, you can't play in your own backyard. I just, I can't do it. Kids playing basketball in their own backyards become a bitter dispute in West Lynn. It's a battle that involves attorneys, city hall, and West Lynn police. And it's really costing taxpayers thousands of dollars. K2's Susan Harding joins us. And Susan, police are telling you they never thought it would get this far. That's why police say it all started with a complaint call from a family that said they were worried basketballs would fly into their windows and then the glass would maim or even kill their children. Well, years later, the police are still getting complaints calls from this family and they're using resources all over the sound of dribbling basketballs. It's the sound that's dividing neighbors. I can't believe it's gotten to this point. And frustrating West Lynn police. But you've thought of changing your policy because of this? Absolutely. Yeah, there's, it's an ongoing debate in house. Tammy Fahey's 10 year old son regularly practices his shot out back with his brother and sister. But trouble started four years ago as the Fahey family moved in. When we were physically moving the basketball hoop into the backyard, they asked if we were really going to keep it back there because it was unsightly. The neighbors next door, Mary and Bruce Swanson, didn't respond to us, but they regularly call the police, wanting them to respond to the sounds they endure next door. The police would come to the door, and my youngest was in tears, thinking that they were going to arrest us. And he knows what will happen if the balls go over the fence. They don't give them back. And about a month ago, the Swansons delivered two basketballs in a bag to the Westland police chief. To return the balls back to the Fahey's, police must call in a code enforcement officer. It's a tremendous waste of resources. You know, I'm a taxpayer here. This is my tax dollar. We're, we're wasting on this kind of a thing. You know, this is, you know, throw the balls back over the fence. I mean, call it good. Sergeant Henley says this is what they encourage kids to do. Stay busy and stay out of trouble. But after four years... Fences make great neighbors, but not in this case. No. <laughs> <laughs> no one thinks this dispute has a good shot of ending anytime soon. And Westland police say this one case has them talking about changing how they respond to noise complaints, but they have found it's just not easy to find a solution that would work. I noticed in your video the Swansons also have a basketball hoop, but theirs is in front. Theirs is in front, and the Fahey's say they couldn't put theirs in front because their driveway slopes. I think they need to do like a three-on-three -three tournament. Invite the neighbors, everybody get involved. <laughs> That's a great idea. They all have kids, so they can get together. Let's get them all involved. I'll get along. Susan, thank you.